Hey, Battle Bill, here with another video, getting some more open Great League Go Battle League battles, because if you are sick of the RPS meta of Great League Remix, then you always have some open Great League battles to turn to, because Great League is forever, Great League is life, Great League is almost always going on, and will never go away. So in today's video, we have a submission from a fellow PvP of the community, top three Milwaukee's regional finalist and world's qualifier by the name of Snots, and he submitted us a fun team here we have the triple weak to fairy triple don't want to see charm team of metacham lead guzzlord and zwilus in the back i'm excited to see which one of those two is supposed to be a safe swap and whichever one of those is supposed to be the closer because the going forward content is going to be you know my own live battles my own good teams or spice teams and then viewers submitted spice or good stuff so shout out the snots for sending this in i'm excited to see what kind of success he's able to have in the open great league meta with this team and if he can avoid or play against some fairy types like we see on screen with this azum rule so don't forget to like comment and subscribe as always and let's jump into these battles so is he going to be able to play out of this azu matchup right off the bat we have a fairy type pokemon that we have to worry about and the azu is and this opponent are fully expecting him to be very weak to azu which is why they swapped out and tried to pivot they now have their trevenant lined up with snots's zwilus that is his back mount with a double dark dragon Dragon strat that's going on here. This Zwilus is going to be able to Dragon Breath down the Trevenant. He has an insane amount of farm. Is Zwilus going to become an Azumarill counter confirmed? Will it throw multiple body slams to take out the Azu's remaining health? Will he get that final shield? He's basically at three body slams. He gets all both of them. He's throwing his one turn move into good timing against the Azu's three turn fast move of Bubble. The last body slam gets the last shield. He then pivots back into his Metacham to get off this Ice Punch and this triple weak to fairy team is able to take out a fairy type ggs to that opponent and let's get into the next battle we got metacham up against a skarmory lead another bad lead for snot to play out of he saves swaps into zwilus and this gets met by a lantern well this team might be weak to charm but you know what it's really good against a lot of the core open great league meta mons like lantern like knock towel like uh trevenant which is less uh which I'm called common these days because of the seed bomb nerf, like Sableye, you name a top tier um, Great League Metamon, and this team comp that Snots is running has an answer for it as long as it's not a charm user because we weren't able to even play out of the fairy type in the first match. Regardless, we have our Zwilus on the opponent's Metacham, lands a Dark Pulse. We're in the two shield scenario. Snots has alignment. He's able to now get the Skarmory onto his Guzzlord, which is going to be huge for him, and keep his Guzzlord away from the opposing Metacham. The opponent swaps. He throws an Ice Punch to do some chip damage against the Skarmory. He's going to want to go into his Guzzlord right now, and we'll see how this matchup goes. The Dragon Tails are chunking. Does he want to throw a Dragon Claw here? Does he want to go for Crunch? Opponent's almost definitely going to need the shield. So he probably goes for the Dragon Claw. But you know what? Crunch always has the opportunity to potentially debuff and help those Dragon Tails add up. Regardless, he throws a Dragon Claw there. Gets the opponent's first shield after he gave up his first shield. The opponent's going for another charge move. Ends up being the Sky Attack. Guzzler tanks it easy. He builds up to two Dragon Claws. Going to throw them back to back. Will he get the opponent's last shield? He does. Throws the next one. Will this take out the Skarmory's remaining health. I notice his switch timer's almost up. If it doesn't, he's going to want to pivot, which is exactly what he does. He tries to go for the snipe. The counter down does not work out. The Skarmory's going to get off a charge move, but he's able to almost take the Skarmory out. The opposing Metacham comes in, but because he has that energy advantage, he gets to the Ice Punch first, and it takes out the opposing Metacham's remaining health. One counter is all that is needed to then win the match to knock out the Skarmory. Getting to the next match is a bad lead, so he safe swaps into Gus... Well, not really a bad lead, but I guess a lead that he doesn't want to see because, you know, he wants to potentially lure out something like this, an ice type for his dragons. I mean, he doesn't really want to lure out a Charmer because if, once that comes out, it's game over. Regardless, though, he is avoiding the Medi Quagsire matchup, and now he has a Gus Lord Frost last matchup. A little bit of an awkward matchup here. At least the Dragon Tails and the Dragon Claws will add up and threaten shields from the Frost last. Frost last is spamming the avalanches though so he's gonna technically lose alignment here he's gonna probably want to come into his meta champ to counter down the frost last let's see what the opponent decides to do they decide to pivot instead of letting
letting themselves get countered down, which then aligns their ghost type Jellicent up against Snots' other dark dragon in Zwilus. I'm guessing they didn't expect that. I guess they thought after they saw the Guzzlord, they took care of the Jellicent's main concern. They were incorrect. We got the double dark dragon strat, which is what makes this team so goddamn weak to fairy. But regardless, he lands a dark pulse on the Jellicent and is able to one shot remaining health. The opponent comes back in with their Quagsire, throws a mud bomb. He's building up to almost two body slams, going for the first one. Will this get the shield? Will the opponent expect this to be a dark pulse? They do. He gets a shield that's huge. He's going to get off another body slam for some solid chip damage. This will not take out the Quag. He's going to probably want to pivot, which is exactly what he does. Going for a potential counter down. The Quagsire is building up to a move. He's using his final shield on it. It only ends up being a mud bomb. Will he counter down the Quagsire all the way? Essentially. The Frost Slash tries to come in to catch a move. Does not work. Opponent top lefts once they recognize the game is over. Getting to the next match, we have a Metacham on an Octal lead. Bad circumstance for as many to be him. Safe swaps into the Zwilus. The opponent is staying in. What does that mean for their back line? Only one way to find out. They come in with their own Metacham. Why do they throw a Sky Attack from their Noctile on the Zwilus? The world may never know. But anyhow, they come back in with they come in with their meta jam and counter down his uh, Zwilus, and then he matches their meta jam with his own. Fully expecting a psychic, Snots uses his shield. He's gonna probably want to over farm some here right before the opposing meta jam gets to another psychic. He's gonna throw an ice punch that will take out the opposing meta jam. This Noctowl is gonna come back in, but now it's energy dry. So Snots' meta jam has a little bit more play here. Getting off the first ice punch gets the opponent's first shield. He swaps into his Guzzlord. The Noctowl towel is staying in surely they don't have another counter user where they're just wasting energy throwing sky attacks at his guzzlord and they seem to be staying in so maybe they don't have another answer for his guzzlord at all he throws a crunch it almost takes out the noctile's remaining health and then they come in with a lantern and they did not have an answer for snots's second dark dragon type lantern does not do well against guzzlord because guzzlord resists literally everything the dragon tails the dragon claws and the potential crunches all do solid neutral damage to the lantern he's going to get off another dragon claw here and his guzzler going to sweep does the opponent have another shield they do they use it he pivots back into his medi and this game is over he can shield the move he can let it come through it will not matter he could probably counter enough to throw an ice punch but he might go for the psychic just you know to be extra extra safe but considering how red that uh lantern's remaining health is he could have just ice punch instead opts for the counter down knowing the opposing lantern has no energy and wins the match Getting to his next match, he's got Medi on a defense Deoxys lead, and which shields up. This is not a good matchup to be in. Deoxys typically beats Medicham, and the counter damage would be super effective against the Dark types in the back, even though Dark is usually good against Psychic types like Deoxys. Regardless, Snots throws a Psychic at first, even though it's resisted, hoping to get that, like, what, 10% debuff chance, or is he just going to go straight Psychic at this point? Might go Ice Punch. Only one way to find out. Ice Punch would be neutral. Psychic would be resisted, but at the same time, Psychic is stab. He then safe swaps into his Zwilus. The, De the Deoxys does not stay in. Instead, he gets met by an opposing Ice-type in Dugong, so this match is only looking worse for Snots by the minute with this alignment. They're going for an Icy Wind here. He's opting to let it come through. He's in an even shield scenario. He's going to need to come in with Metacham to try and counter down or take out this Dugong, which is exactly what he does. He knows the Dugong over farm, so he's going for a Psychic here. Will this take out the Dugong's remaining health? It does not because it gets the opponent's last shield. They're going for another charge move here. Should be another Icy Wind. Gets Snots' last shield. Gets the debuff, obviously, because it's guaranteed. And then they pivot into their defense Deoxys, so Snots matches it with his Guzzlord. The Guzzlord is not liking these heavy counter damage, this heavy counter damage, but is not worried about the Deoxys. Axis's Thunderbolts or potential Psycho Boost because of its resistances. The opponent then comes in with their Dunsparce. He's going for a crunch because of the fact that he was able to farm up a little bit against the Deoxys. Gets a clutch debuff from the crunch. Goes for a second one. Almost takes out the opposing Dunsparce's remaining health. They get to one more charge move, but they did not get a lot of extra farm, so they have to pivot. They come in with the Dugong. The, his Medi is going for the Psychic. This will take out the Dugong's remaining 
remaining health. Does the Dunsparce have any energy or will he get countered down? It gets countered down and Snots is able to win another match there. Getting into the next one, we got Medi on a Lantern lead. This is a good lead, but at the same time, I think he'd prefer to have his Dark Dragons on it. So Snots opts for the catch and makes a fantastic play catching this Thunderbolt on the Dragon as it's resisted damage. They then pivot into their own Metacham. Again, bad alignment for Snots, considering he's the one that gave up after a good lead, but was understandable because he needed to potentially lure backline Mons out that the Medi would want to counter, and I guess, technically speaking, this me opposing Metacham would be one of them, because if he did stay in that matchup and his Medi didn't have a lot of health left, the opposing Medi would have went to town on his back line so he gets this medi out he's going for an ice punch takes oh almost takes it out down the one hp will be able to eat whatever charge move this opposing match and decides to throw unfortunately it's a psychic the opponent's coming in with a lantern this matchup is not looking great but snots makes his second amazing catch of the game by catching a surf now on his wireless and the opponent then comes in with their altaria and it just seems like alignment is not great for snots here no matter how good of a play he makes he's not getting uh the mons that he he would hope to line up with you know his opponent's potential mons just got rps there what are you gonna do it happens sometimes and it's ggs moving on to the next one he's got metacham on an azu lead the azu pivots out he needs to keep his metacham lined up with that azu that is his best matchup for it so he comes in with his wireless against the opposing save swap of Sableye. They go for the foul play. They end up baiting with foul play after building up enough energy for the return. Snots throws a body slam, does enough chip damage to take out the save swap Sableye. And Snots is able to keep alignment, but at the cost of his shield. At this point, though, because of the additional farm this wireless was able to get, he's going to want to spam as many neutral body slams as he can. Unfortunately, these aren't stabs, so they're only doing a little bit of chip damage. At least he's got the Azu's health to about halfway. Full expecting an ice beam or a play rough to be coming through from the uh from the azum rule to take out his wireless but the opponent is over farming quite a boatload they're throwing their move here it's going to be an ice beam they undercharge it because that should have taken out but that undercharge is looking like it's going to cost them because snot's able to get off another body slam before the bubble down happens and they just let their as you go down with all that health ggs they hate to see it their last mon is trevenant I'm sure they were thinking, sorry, my throat got a little dry there. I'm sure they were thinking they got rid of one Dark Dragon. So their Trevenant should be able to be fine to sweep back lines. And they indeed were incorrect because Guzzlord is one of the hardest answers for Trevenant in the game. And Guzzlord does not care if it has shields or the Trevenant does have shields. Guzzlord is going to be able to clutch up regardless. Dragon Tail down the Trevenant and that is GG's for that match. Getting to the next one, we got a Medi lead on a Shadow Sableye. How will he be able to play out of this bad lead? He save swaps into his Guzzlord and the opponent catches a Dragon Claw. Huge play by them here and Guzzlord is not sitting in a great situation. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 And no! there goes the Guzzlord. The poor Guzzlord was really hoping for some sort of better matchup there. But Snots is able to at least put his Metacham back onto the Registeel and was able to lure this out. That is a huge positive here. I'm sure Snots was also hoping to counter down, but unfortunately, the Registeel Zap Cannon that landed also got the debuff. So he's not going to be able to counter down before they get off another move. They come in with their Shadow Sableye. Sans goes for another Ice Punch. And I'm assuming he's going to want to pivot to his Wireless immediately, which is exactly what happens. They're getting to a charge move, most likely a Power Gem. Power Gem from a Shadow Sableye will hit hard. It is only a resisted foul play, but still needed to be shielded and the opponent's last mon ends up being a galarian stun fist so shadow sableye double steel doing quite well because you know steel types are usually pretty good against dragons and snots his metacham got lined up with the shadow sableye ghost type so not in the best spot will snots be able to play out of this it's not looking promising he will get off a dark pulse with one hp get the opponent's last shield but metacham just does not have enough health here to get the job done so he's gonna shield this up he's gonna get some counters in he's gonna top left he's decided that this match is unfortunately unwinnable and that is going to be the final match from this collection of battles again snots thank you so much for submitting this amazing content the triple week to charm team really five times a week performed quite well even when it ran into some opposing fairy types and it's not performed really well in these battles so as always don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know your thoughts on the battles 
Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.